Hello and welcome to the seventh lecture. Uh, it is on a following a customized routine, one of the most daunting challenges for pros prospective grad students. Um, to follow a customized routine actually helps to prepare for uh, GRE, TOEFL, and uh, other uh, preparing tasks for grad school. And that's why uh, this video is dedicated on how to make and how to maintain a customized routine. I'm using the word customized, uh, customized because all of the students are different in terms of maturities, expectations, and capabilities. And uh, that's why it's very important to make the routine aligned with uh, your abilities and your objectives and focus. So uh, for the first slide is about the incorrect approaches taken by students uh, uh, when it comes to maintaining a routine. Uh, the first thing we generally do is that we tend to follow others blindly. When we see a friend is preparing for a particular exam, we also uh, try to copycat. And also uh, another dilemma that we handle uh, that uh, we, uh, we end up spending too much time on organizing the reading materials. Uh, we do not know how much time to invest on each of those. And uh, sometimes we get panicked and frustrated and that's how we end up spending a lot of time before actually uh, taking the preparation. And a great mistake that we make that we sometimes, a lot of times we associate prestige with the score. We do not know the score. We haven't uh, appeared in the exam yet, but we uh, start associating uh, a prestige uh, and get very, very frightened about what score we're going to get. And uh, also when we are trying to uh, make a routine, uh, generally we look for templates rather making customized routines for ourselves. And that's how we end up following someone else's plan, uh, which uh, obviously do not fit with, uh, fit with our objectives. So we should avoid these kind of incorrect approaches at all costs. Effective thumb, uh, thumb rules associated with uh, an effective routine is that a routine should be of a human. Generally, uh, we are a lot enthusiastic at the beginning of, of, of the preparation stage, and we make a very hectic and very loaded routine, uh, which is uh, sometimes called a Superman routine. We should uh, make sure that we will be able to follow the routine for a particular amount of time. And that's why the routine should not be loaded, rather it should be light, healthy, and effective. And there's a law called Perkinson's law. Uh, it says that you will actually take the time that you actually have to accomplish a task. For example, uh, if you are given three months to clean your house, you will take three months to clean your house. But if someone puts a gun on your head and gives you just one hour to clean your house, uh, you will be bound to do this in one hour and you will eventually do it. So the stake uh, associated with the, with the task at hand, that actually matters and you should uh, make your routine according to the stake. And you should organize on the fly, which uh, you should not invest a lot of time before you start preparing, you should pre uh, start preparing right away and you should organize on the fly, uh, uh, which means that you should make the routine in parallel to the preparation so that you can uh, rinse and repeat, you can modify and you can make your routine better and better. And uh, one of the most significant dilemmas that we uh, handle uh, uh, when it comes to uh, taking a preparation for a particular exam is that we uh, take, uh, we, we get distressed when we are handling so many reading materials. We, uh, we struggle to categorize them, which materials are good, which are bad, how long we should take to finish each, each material. We should categorize our materials and uh, we should categorize them uh, not only based on the contents but also based on our priorities and objectives for example some of the GRE and TOEFL preparatory materials are 
uh, focusing are focused on concepts. Uh, they are very good uh, to understand the conceptual problems, and some are focused on only drills. If you if you already have the concept, uh, only then you can effectively use the materials that are focused on drills. And also, you should use the reading materials based on your priority. For example, sometimes we tend to spend too much time on topics that we are familiar with and we are strong at, which does not work at all. You should spend more time on your weaknesses. That's why it's important to uh, give a diagnostic test at first to find out your weaknesses and start allotting time according to your weaknesses. And a sense of completion is required and it actually helps uh, when you are preparing. If you spend uh, one or two weeks and you do not have a sense of completion, you think that you are not going anywhere, then you generally become frustrated and you give up on your study. So in order to avoid that, you should live day by day. Uh, you should uh, get a reasonable amount of task at hand and finish, uh, finish those tasks today. And you should not be worried about what you are going to do in the next three months, uh, in the next three months. And uh, a three-step uh, three approach always uh, uh, has helped me. Uh, it's called prioritization, segmentation into manageable tasks, and extreme bookkeeping. Prioritization means you should always do the tasks. Those are most important first. And segmentation means you should not uh, see the task as a, uh, as a huge pile, rather you should segment it into very small pieces of manageable tasks so that the individual segments are not very frightening at all. And bookkeeping means you should always keep track of, of what you are doing every day. So uh, in a day, you, uh, let's say you are doing eight reading and writing tasks, uh, in a day, you are doing very, uh, very small segments of tasks. And after one or two days, it looks like that you haven't done much. But if you keep a list and the list uh, keeps growing, after one month, you will be able to recognize that you have been able to finish a lot of tasks. And it, it will give you a kind of motivation and sense of completion. And also, you will be able to see in front of your eyes uh, which things, which tasks, or which areas should be given more priority and should be modified. That's how you can make progress without being burned out. And you should always enjoy the journey and focus, uh, focus on the journey, not the destination. You should not be uh, too much caught up with how much score you are going to get. Rather, you should focus on addressing your weaknesses one by one and understanding the uh, concepts and do the drills and be very consistent about uh, completing uh, your day-to-day -day tasks. And you should always keep in mind that the worst result is not that bad. Generally, these exams, you can take multiple times and ending up uh, with a bad score is not the end of the world. Here is a sample uh, routine that I have made uh, for the prospective graduate students that are preparing for GRE and TOEFL simultaneously. Uh, for, uh, to maintain this routine, you have to be consistent for at least 60 days, and you should uh, allot at least five to six hours per day. So you can start with uh, any vocabulary app uh, for a few minutes to uh, you know, brush up your vocabulary skill, and then you should uh, read one issue and one argument from any material you should write, uh, you should read one newspaper article. You should uh, solve one chapter of verbal from any book. You should uh, go through the GRE Big Book one model, model question uh, just for uh, text completion and reading comprehension. You should solve one chapter of quantitative problems from any book, and you should solve one section of TOEFL from any book per day. The advantage of this kind of routine is that it will not uh, burn you out. Uh, you just have to uh, allot a few hours per day and it should not hamper any other day-to-day -day activities. So it's very easy to follow for 60 days. You will not get bored 
And another advantage is that just by allotting a few hours per day, you will be able to touch all the sections of GRE, including analytical writing and the section of TOEFL per day. So it's very effective, but uh, again, it's not uh, the only routine that you should follow. It's just a sample and you, uh, you can modify it uh, any way uh, that, you, that you see fit. And at last, there are some points about routine life that uh, your focus and your background actually um, matter when it comes to this kind of language tests and academic tests. So you should uh, try to recognize your specific limitations before you try to address uh, your limitations. For example, there would be, uh, there is an upper limit of score uh, that you can get uh, if you are preparing for a limited amount of time. And also, Starting a routine life is a very easy task, uh, easy task, but maintaining that is the most difficult part uh, of a routine life. And that's why you should always make and follow a human routine. And, uh, I'm repeating it again that uh, you should start doing, uh, start solving your tasks today and organize on the fly. You should not uh, spend too much time organizing beforehand. And also, uh, you should be uh, bookkeeping regularly so that you can see uh, how much progress you're making. And your today's plan should be better than yesterday's. And it's only possible when you are seeing your progress uh, noted uh, in written format, like how many tasks you are doing every day and which areas should be uh, given more concentration and more attention. And also, when you are doing segmentation of your tasks, every segment should be manageable. Every segment should be very easy to accomplish. For example, uh, let's say it should not take 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes to, uh, to accomplish. So that the, uh, if you pile up the segments in a day, if you uh, complete seven to eight or 10 tasks a day, it should not take a few hours. The, uh, the main point here is that you want to follow the routine uh, for a few months. So the segments and the tasks should be very easy to accomplish by themselves. And uh, today's world, the word dream is sold a lot and uh, there are a lot of motivational speakers, but you should always keep in mind that a realistic plan is always better than a fancy dream. So that's all I had to share about customized routine. Thanks.